Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be an unboxing of a very special product that, or an item that I've been wanting for a little while now. And I had, at the beginning of the year, embarked on a cosmetic and skincare no buy. And when I started it, I told myself that if I do really well with it, that I would allow myself to purchase and treat myself to an item from Louis Vuitton. So for January and February, for the total months together, I spent a total of $52 on beauty products. So I thought that was extremely well because normally by this time I would probably have spent a good three, four hundred dollars at least. So I went on to the Louis Vuitton website because here in Oklahoma we don't have any Louis Vuittons. The closest one to me would be in Dallas, Texas, which is about five hour drive. Definitely not going to drive five hours to pick up a product. Anyway. So I did order it online. I had to wait for it to come back in stock because it was out of stock. So I had just been periodically checking the website and finally it came to the point where it would allow me to place it into my car and order it. So let's get started. And here's the box that it came in. It was just a plain cardboard box, which was probably kind of good because at least, you know, it doesn't have Louis Vuitton all around it because um, that could I'm looking on the even the return address on here doesn't say Louis Vuitton so that's good because you know it could um, thieves you know alert them to something really expensive in your box anyway but when you opened it up it did have Louis Vuitton right there and then here is the box that the item came in so as you can tell from the size of the box, it is a small item. It is an SLG or small leather goods. Um, there have been several pieces of the small leather goods that I would like to purchase um, at some point in time. Um, my purses that I have from Louis are pre-loved and I have not purchased anything brand new from Louis. This is the first Louis Vuitton brand new out of the box item. And I could purchase these pre-loved, but the condition that you find these items in and the price that they're being sold at is not that much of a savings to justify the condition that the item's in. So I'd rather just go ahead and spend the full price and get the item brand new. So here is the um, receipt that was sent to me. Um, it is in the saffron or the orange color. This is the new color that Louis Vuitton switched over to. Um, I don't have a card here for an, an essay because I didn't go through a sales associate. Um, just has the thank you for shopping at Louis Vuitton and then my receipt. And because I did purchase it online, I do have the option of um, returning it so here's my other receipt I think this other thing was about oh yeah this is about returns um, since I did purchase it online that is one of the things benefits about purchasing online is that you can return it and get a refund whereas if you go into the boutique um, you can only just exchange but then again um, on to buying online is you don't actually get to see the product, touch it, feel it, uh, maybe even select from whatever stock that they have. Maybe they have a couple and you look at both of them and decide which one you like the best. Anyway, so there's pros and cons to both. So also in my little box, and before I get to the actual product, I had this little guy was in there and for the life of me I cannot figure out what this little pouch was. Because I knew what I had ordered didn't require a lock. So I knew it wasn't a lock. But anyway, they sent a couple samples of their perfumes that they have come out. And they sent it in this cute little Louis Vuitton um, drawstring bag. So this would be really cute to maybe put some earrings in um, traveling. And I didn't look at this little card. This, there's a card in here. Oh, it just talks about the perfumes that they sent. And let's see, I got the Apogee and, oh, 
I got a rose one. Oh my gosh, I didn't even look at these. I got the Rose DeVince. If you have watched my channel, you know I love rose. Like, look, I have a rose thing right here, sitting right here on my vanity. Oh my gosh. I gotta see what it smells like. Eek. Eek. I love roses. I hope this smells good. Sometimes some roses aren't so, so nifty. But then again, I hope I don't like it because um, this stuff's expensive for perfume. So anyway, I got those two little samples. So that was a nice little surprise. I was not expecting it. So here's the box that my little SLG came in. And it has a little um, draw box. It is in the saffron color that they switched over to, which is like an orange color. And then the little pull tab here is like a royal blue um, cloth type pull tab. Not that excited about, but anyway. So I'm gonna open it up and here it is in the little dust bag that comes in. So excited. I've already looked at it and I've had it set out for a couple of days because I haven't been able to do the video yet, but oh, look. And let me pull it out. It is the toiletry. 15. So it's the smallest toiletry bag that they carry. It does have a little bit of the Fichetta or Fichetta or Fichetta leather here. And that's why I've had it set out for three days um, over on the cabinet there, just so it can kind of get a little air to it and start to patina. But anyway, oh, it's so pretty. It's just a little pouch. I intended to originally get it to put my lipsticks in. Um, and kind of use it for a little cosmetic case, but I, I'm really thinking that I'm going to use it for something else. Um, I have another little pouch in my purse that I carry that has, um, I keep receipts in it and my um, reward cards and different things like that in there, and I think I might use this for that. Oh, it's so pretty and it's so smooth. Mm. Yes, I'm just so excited about it. Finally have a brand new Louis Vuitton piece and I'm so proud of myself for saving the money and not using that money to buy a whole lot of makeup that I don't need and I have got a iconic classic piece that I can put into my Petite Noe or into my um, Speedy 30, um, which is what I'm carrying right now is my Speedy 30. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to leave it set out for a few more days just so this can really start to patina really nicely. And then I'm going to put my stuff in there and start carrying it. But yes, it's just so pretty. It's just the perfect size. It's actually a little bit bigger than what I thought it was going to be. So it turned out to be a really good size. And um, I can kind of show you. I have this little palette sitting here. This is the Tarte Poppy Picnic. Um, eyeshadow and blush palette which is for sale by the way if you're interested let's see does that fit in there no it doesn't fit so that does not fit so that was not a good that was not a good <laughs> it wasn't a good um, demo was it anyway well anyway they didn't fit so let's see maybe you can kind of tell by comparison you think it would but it looks like it's like right at the same size so anyway whatever so love it and so excited can't wait to start using it and look forward to um, purchasing some more SLGs in the future my next one that I think I want to get is the round um, zippy coin I think is what I want I was I got that one first actually and um, they had called me or sent an email to me saying that they couldn't go through with my order, so I had to call them while well, I had put a P.O. box. I didn't realize they wouldn't ship to a P.O. box. So she said the only way I could do it, because I used my PayPal, because I've been putting money into my PayPal account from some of the makeup that I've sold, um, was I would just have to cancel the order and then reorder. So I'm like, okay, no, no problem. Well, when I went to reorder it, it wasn't available any longer. So I might have to wait for it to come in stock. So I ordered that one instead. Anyway, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yes, anyway, so thank you so much for joining me for my very first um, brand new Louis SLG unboxing. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon.